Help support the companies that support our community. We ran to the store and got some of those little tomato pin cushions. They're super cheap. They're about $2.50 and they work great for it. They are kind of random, you know, as far as the sizes go. So I put them in the vise and just smashed them down to fit whatever one I was working on. And then we just cut out some material. I got a little bit of padding and then just pinned it. So you put the pins down a little bit lower than the lip there so you don't see them. 
and you do all four corners and then you just go around the whole piece and pin it and it actually worked out great robin was doing a little bit of research after she found these online and the i guess the best way to do it is crushed walnut shells it works really well and that actually like sharpens the, the pins so i think if i ever do another one i'll try the crushed walnut shells and just kind of make my own but it was it was super easy and then they just pop right in there so what i did was and depending on the size, I have a bunch of them, I'll show you here in just a second. But whatever size it is, I made them just a little bit bigger than than the, the hole. Or I made the hole just a little bit bigger than the, the pin cushion. And that way when I put the pad and the material on, it fits in there nice and tight. And I went ahead and put a little bit of hot glue on each one of them and then stuck them in and glued them in. Well, there it is. This is the one I just did in the video. I have a picture here. I did four more of them. And I just found some little pieces of wood that were laying around the shop. This was the the cutoff from the vase I did a couple of weeks ago. It's They're super easy to do. It's um, If you have somebody that sews, this would make a great gift. And you can do it just any size you want. So this one's just a little bit taller, but smaller around. The ones I made, they range from I think this one's five and a half inches around and then the smallest one was just just over three inches and they can use different material on all of them so super fun project I had a little there's a walnut one I did where it just barely kind of sticks up a little bit but it's a little bit deeper and that's the only one I didn't put in the vise this one it was kind of the shape of that little tomato so I just went in and covered it and popped it right down in there but super fun project um, yeah, and then I was was doing all of them. Somebody had a suggestion um, about putting a box, it, making it into a box. So if you were to actually do like recess, you know, the when you do the bottom here, put a tenon on it and a little base, you could store the pins inside of the base. So I thought that was super cool. If I do another one, I'm going to do the base and I will do um, do it with the walnut shells. But a fun, quick little project using up some little bits of what I had around the shop. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll put pictures of all of these up at the end and we will see you next week.